Hi planner friends, it's Marsha with Buy Sell Plan and I am so excited for this video. I have an unboxing and I haven't even opened this stuff yet and I'm already in love so I can't wait to share it with you. If you're new here, I do um, plan my planning is all about functional planning using the Franklin Planner system. Um, so this is just an unboxing but stay tuned for more videos and you can even uh, watch back for my weekly plan with me's and all my setups and all that good stuff. And if you are not new here, welcome back. Okay, so what should I do first? Let's do the little stuff first and then we'll get into the big stuff. Um, I am waiting for one more item and it was on back order, so it didn't arrive with this order. So I will show that to you in a separate video. So I got an internet passwords, uh, little book and I have a previous Franklin Planner haul um, where I unboxed one of these so I ordered a second one for my daughter she saw mine and she loved it and she wanted one as well so I got her one too so I think it's full leather and it's just to, for your internet passwords it's called the jotter and uh, yeah it, it, it has them, um, your pages in categories. So for internet passwords, work-related, shopping, restaurants, entertainment, travel, news, social networking, and then other. So I really like that. So they're color coordinated. And then it lets you know at the top as well what it's for. So that way, if you don't remember what the colors are for, then you're good. So they give you a lot for internet. There we go. So this is all for internet. So you put the website name, the URL, username, and the password, and then any notes related related to that uh, website. And then the next section is work related. So that's in blue. And they give you just a few, well, a pretty good amount, I would say, for work. Work related passwords. Shopping. Just a few for shopping. And then restaurants and then entertainment travel not that we're really doing that right now news and then social networking and then other so it's handy it's small I like it it doesn't take up a lot of room in my desk and it comes with a little bookmark so if you you know, if there's one that you visit a lot, then you can mark that page so you don't have to flip through all of them to find what you're looking for. So that's the Internet Passwords um, booklet. <clears throat> okay, so I got this Tombow Mono Drawing Pen, water-based pigment ink marker, and I got this for my daughter. It's the 0 or 02, or is that 0 0.2? that I don't know. So my daughter's an artist. She's in school full time right now for graphic design, but she's been an amazing uh, drawer since she could hold a pen. I have, I have notebooks and notebooks um, from, like I said, from the time she could hold a pen of her, of her, um, her art. So yeah, she loves pens like this. So I saw it on there and I thought, well, why not? Let's uh, get that for her and she can give that a try. It's very, very fine point. And she does a lot of very detailed um, drawings. So there you go. So this is the number two, I would say. I think that's what that means. She'll know better than me. Anyways, okay, so I got those. All right, so I got these Desert Rose Sierra Binder. Oh, it's just as pretty. Just as pretty in person. So this is the Desert Rose Sierra Binder. It's simulated leather, so it's not real leather. One and a quarter inch rings. So if you watched my unboxing of uh, the Sage Brush Binder, it's, it's exactly the same. Oh, look at how beautiful these are. Oh. See, this is perfect for spring. I'm going to have a hard time. When do I go into this one? Maybe I'll just do this one for April and do that one for May. We'll see. Okay. So, 
it comes all binders come with this little you know care instruction um piece of paper so avoid moisture extreme temperatures and prolonged exposure to direct sunlight so it's the sierra simulated leather one and a quarter inch rings desert rose binder and all franklin planner binders come with two page lifters okay so let's take a look here so you have your pockets here and here here and here and then this one is the full length okay and then you have the zipper here which is so smooth like I don't even really I don't have to hold the binder in order to open it it's it's just so smooth I love that and then this zipper is the entire depth of this side of the planner so you could put a lot in here I recommend um, more flat items because then you can um, put your fingers in there and slide it out and it won't bulk up your planner but because of the rings, it does make it a little challenging to get in there if you have something that's not very big um, that you have to slide out. So just something to keep in mind. And then there's this full length pocket for a notepad or stickers or anything else that you fancy. And then they all come with two pen loops. So it's pretty structured. It's not very bendy. And it's very soft and it's like that pebbly, it's not real leather, but it kind of feels like it is, but it's very, very soft. I love it. And I love the stitching. Stitching is like, God, I feel like it's the same color. I feel like it's the same color, just maybe a little bit lighter. And then once your inserts are in it, it'll lay flat. My sage brush binder does lay flat when I open it. Now I took everything out of here that was in my vintage drawer, which is one and a half inch ring. So it's pretty heavy, but yeah, you can see I've been using this a lot since I got it and it, it, it lays flat. The only thing is, is that if you have a lot of inserts, the strap isn't that long. So as you can see, it does come out quite easily, but that doesn't bother me. If you're only going to have just like your your standard three months of inserts, which is what Franklin Planner recommends, uh, your previous month, the month that you're in, and then the next month, then I think that you'd be okay. But I have a, I have six tabs, six sections in my binder, so um, it's you know it's full. But anyways, so that is the Desert Rose binder. Isn't it pretty? It's like a coral. I don't know. What, 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 how would you describe this? A coral pinky kind of rose gold kind of color. Okay, so I caved and I got the Sandstone Classic Planner from July until June. Even though I love my Carrera, I had to see these in person because I just can't get a good look um, in, uh, in the pictures. So... Yeah, I'll show you what I mean. So as soon as I saw them in this catalog, I, I just had to have them. I had to have them. I mean, look how beautiful they look in the pictures, right? And and with the um, Desert Rose binder, it's just like a, a match made in heaven, right? Like, look at that. So I'm like, okay, I have to see both of them in person. So let's do a little comparison here. So this is this this is the binder. It's it's close, but I would say it looks darker in the picture. It looks darker in the picture. All right, and then this the um, sage brush I feel is lighter in per or sorry darker in person. It's lighter in the picture, right? So anyway, still beautiful nonetheless. Let's open up these inserts, shall we? So these come with the, so it's the seven habits. Now I've never used the seven habits inserts. I'm very intrigued by them. I will be starting that book. I 
have not read that book yet, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. So I will be starting that book. And I also have the workbook to go along with the book. So I was intrigued. I've always been intrigued by these inserts, but I don't like the print of the Seven Habits inserts until I saw these. So, oh my God, I love them. Okay, so here we go. Let's go through them. So when you get your um, your day on two page inserts, they come with the 12 months of the year first and then the guts of it is um, comes after. I like the font. I like the quote, effective people are not problem minded, they're opportunity minded. They feed opportunities and starve problems. Oh yeah, that's a good intro to your binder. And then on the back, you have your three year, uh, three years at a glance. So it's like a creamy kind of pinkish color. Okay, so then a welcome. These pages provide you with a unique opportunity to incorporate the timeless principles of the seven habits of highly effective people into your life. A 26 page supplement teaches you about or refreshes you on each of the seven habits, a bite sized piece of one of the seven habits and a relevant quote appear each day to stimulate your thinking and encourage you to put into practice what you are learning. I like that. I like that a lot. Personal commitment. Oh, that's cool. When a rocket is launched into space, it, it expends more energy in the first few minutes of liftoff than it uses over the next several days to travel half a million miles. Like gravity, habits have tremendous pull. Often the most difficult part of breaking a bad habit or starting a habit of effectiveness is the initial effort. The following suggestions can help you through the liftoff stage of changing your habits. That is so true, isn't it? Once you have momentum, it's easier. It's just getting started is takes the most effort. So uh, break your task or objective into small achievable goals. Share your progress with someone who can help support you. Start again immediately if you falter in your progress. The most critical part of achieving success with the seven habits is your commitment to action. Please take the time to make and keep the commitment below to yourself and your success. So I, Marsha Grove, commit that I will complete all the reading and activities I choose. I will set a aside time each week to implement the principles and habits taught. Wow. Wow. Well then. And then they all have this sheet here, which is um, like a recap of how to use the prioritized daily task list. And of course, your reminder of the productivity py uh, pyramid, which is what the Franklin Planner System is um, based on, right? First, you have to establish what your governing values are and set your goals. And then you plan weekly and plan daily. I just love the Franklin Planner System. So here's the front page index, and this is the month on two pages. So I like that it still has the lines. I don't like how that is shaded. Although, I don't know, maybe I do like it. Maybe I do like it because I'll just show you in here. So I love the clean, everything is white look in here. I like how that is white, but if you are writing things on the side, it can, it can kind of get jumbled in the week because it isn't shaded. Let's see, I might have more here, yeah. So yeah, so right, so then you're like, okay, what day is this? Oh, that's for notes, you know what I mean? Hope that makes sense. So I think I could, I think I could deal with that. I think I could get used to that. The only thing I don't like is that if I need to use whiteout, it won't look pretty. And I like things to look pretty. So you've got your master task list on the back of each month, personal and business. I like that. There's no lines here. And again, I will show you. So here's the master task list in the Carrera inserts. So you've got your personal and your business, same thing, but you have your lines and then you have um, a more bolded line to separate the two. So that's kind of nice. It's nice and clean. Okay. I like the font on the tabs. Now in, for some reason, I thought that they were like gold font, 
long, but they're not, so but that's okay. Okay, so these are the months. Let's flip those all over. Okay, very cool. So it does come with, if you've ever purchased the starter kit, um, it comes with the starter kit, which is your planning calendars, planner guide, mission and values, goals, finances, key information, and then you have your four tabs. Um, so what's different about this is it has a seven habits tab. The starter pack does not have the seven habits ta um, tab. And then it has address and phone. So these ones here, you can use these tabs for whatever, whatever you want. Although I think that I've read somewhere that these are for like certain categories. If you are transferring information or taking notes on something um, in your index, you would write in there, um, like on your index for each month. Would it be index for each month? Like where to reference certain information. So if it's tab one, then you would write in there tab one and then what page it's on, something like that. I could be off on that, um, but I, I feel like I read that somewhere. Okay, and then it gives you a page lifter. Uh, sorry, page finder, not a page lifter. And then these are for your compass cards and they give you a year's worth of compass cards. 50, 52 of them, one for each week. Okay, and then it looks like you just have this card stock to separate the sections. And then here is the starter guide or starter pack. So your first tab, which is planning calendars. Um, what goes in? I think it's this planner guide part goes in there. And then you have your values, mission and roles. So this would go under your values and missions tab. So that's the idea is that these all have a specific tab. Okay, so there's your values. And then your roles. Okay. Yeah, and your goals and all that good stuff. Mission statement. I'm actually glad this is in here because I feel like I, I want to redo my values um, for the year because the first quarter of the year um, has uh, made me reevaluate a lot of things. So they give you some sample um, pages. So what's next, you can order separately. So goal planning pages, they give you a, just a couple of those and here's a sample and then you can write on the back. Okay, so they give you a few of those, which you can order these separately and I believe they come See, I believe the goals tabs goal planning. Here we go. They come with 50 sheets if you order them separately, which I did because I do use these a lot. Three are just not enough for me for the year. Okay, and then it comes with a monthly expense tracker. Get two of those. Monthly budget worksheet. Yearly income and expense tracker. And then automobile info. And then annual summary of business expenses. Personal information. These are kind of cool. I don't use them because my kids are adults now and they shop for themselves, but it has clothing information. So if you have children or like people that you shop for, it's nice to have their sizes in there. Um, employment information, medical information, password information, uh, identification numbers, and then friends and family information. So their name, date of birth, and then information about them. And then they also have um, like blood type, I don't know, for family, I can see like for your kids, your spouse, that would make sense. Uh, or maybe your parents, if you're taking care of your parents, something like that, but um, anyhow, and then they have more name, blood type. So that's kind of, that's kind of cool. Medical information, special days, website tracker. So they give you a few of those. And again, you can order those separately. 
weights and measurements. This could come in handy with some of these when you're cooking. <laughs> Okay, world map, and then here's your address tabs that would go under your address, your in, rather address name and address inserts that would go under your address tab. I don't use these because I have everything in my phone. Another cardstock to separate the sections, and then you get into your day on two pages. So you've got your index, starts with your index on the first page, and then you have your calendar and prioritize daily task lists. So let's take a look at these. Okay, so the only thing that it's missing is the, which I love, but I mean, it's not a deal breaker. Let me grab it here. I love the daily tracker. I absolutely love that. That's where I put all my numbers that I track every day, but I could use this section for that because I don't I don't ever fill it up with tasks. So these two will be more, more than enough space for tasks. Um, what's interesting though is they gray out, um, they, apparently I need more coffee. Um, so you can categorize. So let's say if you have one section for business, one section for personal, one section for family or or what have you. So it gives you that option. I don't use that option. I just jumble, all, jumble it all together. Um, but that is, that's kind of a cool thing about this. And then you have your um, habits at the bottom. Looks like, so this is habit five, seek first to understand, then to be understood. People want to be understood and whatever investment of time it takes to do that will bring much greater returns of time as you work from an accurate understanding of the problems and issues and from the high emotional bank account that results when a person feels deeply understood. And then it shows you where in the book to find it. That's cool. I like that. And then you have your quotes on the bottom of your daily notes page. Really listening and suspending one's own judgment is necessary in order to understand other people on their own terms. This is a process that requires trust and builds trust. Cool. I love it. And when you work with people in your profession, this will come in handy, but certainly, um, you know, just dealing with people in general, friends, family, acquaintances. So you have your previous month and your next month on the right hand side and it gives you your um, your dates there and then it shows you up here last quarter moon Canada day like whatever um, holidays so that's neat and then of course it has the legend for your daily tasks I kind of like how that's separated because on um, these here you have the current month here which I'm realizing this doesn't have the current month so that's okay. I do refer to the current month a lot. Um, and then they do have the previous and the next month here. So it's all kind of jumbled together, really small. And then you have your holiday here. This is where your holidays go up here. And then your, your legend for your tasks. So that's interesting. Just those subtle differences, right? And I do like that the calendar doesn't have the big spaces like this one here you have these big spaces between 11 and 5 except for noon because they and that's the thing not everybody eats lunch at noon not everybody works a nine to five or an eight to five schedule so not everybody eats lunch at noon so I just like the consistency that this is just all the same although you will see that the calendar is smaller which is okay. See, because this one goes all the way down to the bottom, this one um, doesn't. And it doesn't start because you have this um, border at the top, so it takes away from your calendar space. Let's see if it's the same width. It looks like it's the same width this way, just not as long this way. And your tasks are the same. The task space is the same. You're just not getting that daily tracker. So if you're one that you need all of the space for tasks and you use the daily, tra daily tracker, then you might not like this because um, you don't have that space. So I, I plan on using this part here. 
for my um, my daily tracker if I decide to use these. So that is the sandstone planner. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I like the color. Let's see how it looks in this binder. I'm not going to put everything in here. I'm probably just going to put one month because this shouldn't be that long of a video. So it starts in July. There we go. tabs here. So I usually put all my months together and then I have my dailies after that. So I'm going to put all of the months in there. I mean that just looks beautiful doesn't it? Like look at that. All right. I do this. I surround myself with so much of the stuff and then I run out of room. Okay. Oh, she's pretty. This combination is gorgeous. I thought in the, some in some of the pictures these look darker. So I'm glad that they're they're light, more like a cream color. And then if I were to use these, I don't know that I would use these again, but I do like that 7 habits tab. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where I would put them. Hmm. And you know, I just realized it has the seven habits tab, but there isn't anything in here specifically for it. So that is a little bit confusing because yeah, it's all, it's just all the inserts for Oh, no. Okay. I'm glad that I uh, revisited that. They do have, they do have some stuff. Yay. Wow, they give you quite a bit of lined paper at the end. Okay. Okay. So I'm not done going through these. Okay. So this is your whole year of inserts, your day on two pages, okay? And then after your day on two pages, you do have um, a note page here, holidays and observations, and then you have your future planning calendars. Do you guys use these? I don't use them and I feel like it's a waste. I don't plan that far in advance. So I would love some ideas from you on what you use these for. So those are your planning calendars and then you have your future planning here. Well, that's interesting because if you have your, so you use this for future planning and then you also have these by date, by month and date. Hmm, maybe these are more for anniversaries, birthdays, things like that. And this is more for planning, but they give them to you. So 20, no, 2022. Well, I guess because these go into 2022, don't they? For the first six months of the year. Okay, and then you have some, well, that's quite a bit of lined paper. Quite a bit of lined paper there. And then you have your seven habits. Okay, good. I was gonna say, because it didn't make sense otherwise. And these would go in your seven habits tab. sure where I would put um, where I would put these tabs if I put them probably at the very back because I like my calendar tabs to show so let's take a look at the seven habits here 
So this is a supplement. In this supplement to the sandstone planner, we briefly discussed seven habits of highly effective people, habits used consistently by people who achieve desired results, blah, blah, blah. So it just explains, and then it explains what the seven habits are. Um, if you take the time to truly understand and apply these principles taught here, you will reap power powerful benefits. I believe that. Foundation of the habits. Cool. So yeah, they just pretty much give you a rundown, kind of like a Coles Note version of what they are. Oh, this is cool. Effective, ineffective. Begin with the end in mind. Ineffective, begin with no end in mind. I think we all know people who do that, don't we? Effective, put first things first. Ineffective, put second things first. Think win-win. Think win-lose or lose-win. Those are glass half-empty thinkers. Um, seek first to understand, then to be understood. Seek first to be understood. So these are really great reminders, especially when it, you know when you're in, in um, tough conversations and emotions are high. It's hard to stay in this this mindset, um, and it's easy to go here. All of us, it's easy to go here. So these are great reminders. Effective and effective. There's some more there. Sharpen the saw, wear out the saw. How many of us do that? Ah, oh, foundation of the seven habits, private victory and public victory, the maturity continuum. So I haven't read the book yet, so this stuff's not familiar to me. So I'm looking forward to diving into that. So this is some really good stuff they have in here. And then habit one, be proactive. Habit two, that's cool. So they break it down. Oh, the time matrix. Love that. This is great stuff. Great stuff. I almost think it's worth it to get the seven habits planner just for this. I love that. Oh, and then more, I guess you could keep blank paper in here for notes. Um, anyways, yeah, so that's how it looks in this planner. I almost think that if they did gold, rings and gold hardware I feel like it would have looked better and especially with the sandstone so that is it what do you guys think do you like it have any of you ordered the sandstone planner how are you enjoying it I mean I know it doesn't start till July but do you like it what should I do should I switch to this in July or or just stay in my Carrera. I'm torn because I love the crisp white look of the Carrera. Um, but I love this. I love this too. I'm torn, you guys. I don't know what to do. Oh, one thing too um, is that the, the design on the top, um, the colors change every quarter. So for the first three months, you have that color let's put these here so this will go july august september so then when we get into september it's just a tiny bit darker and it has a little bit different of a pattern so that's september october november and then december is a different pattern again and it's just slightly the, the colors are so similar but you can see there's a slight difference. So this is more pinky. This is more like sand, right? Sandstone. Um, December. Um, oh, look at that. And there's January. So those are your four colors. And your note paper looks like it's the January one. I hope they come out with um, that you can order the lined paper because I like everything to be matchy matchy. I don't like to have different lined paper from other planners. So I hope they come out with that. Okay, that's it. That's all. That is my Franklin Planner haul. Huh, I didn't mean to rhyme that. Um, don't like that. A little, well, it's not rubbing off on my fingers, so that's good. So it won't get my binder dirty or my fingers dirty. So I don't know what that is, but whatever. I can deal. Okay, that's my Franklin Planner haul, the Sandstone Planner. That goes from July to June. The Sierra Desert Rose Binder. 
and the internet password little booklet and this Tombow um, pen, drawing pen. Yep, that's it. So I hope uh, if you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new here, if you'd like to see more content from me and uh, definitely let me know in the comments below. What do you think? What do you guys think? Sandstone or Carrera? Let me know your thoughts. I would love to know because I'm, I'm not sure. Luckily, I have time. These don't start till July, but yeah. Um, okay, thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.